Hello everyone, it's Kei. How's it going today? So this video is uploaded on the 24th of November 2020 on Tuesday. So every Tuesdays I talk about the Ichimoku strategies and today's topic about the P wave. So first I will share with you how you can identify the P wave and also secondly I will talk about how you can potentially capture the breakout direction within the P wave. So let's get started right now. Um, before starting quickly as a disclaimer, this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk. So yep, I am a Japanese full-time forex trader if you're new to my channel. And Ichimoku has been my main strategies uh, for the last five years. I have studied Ichimoku from the original books over here. So um, it's been really great. I Every time I read the books, the original books, I learn something new. So it's how deep these Ichimoku original books are. So in this Ichimoku original book, the P wave is actually introduced. So let's check a couple markets today. I found the P wave structure on these two pairs, the purple pairs, GPP AUD and Euro AUD daily chart. So let's check the GBP AUD daily chart first. So here is the P wave and we find, you can see that the highs are getting lower and the lows get higher. So this is the P wave structure. This is also well known as a triangle. Well, this is also known as a triangle range, but in Ichimoku, it's called P wave because if you add one more line like this, then it becomes like a little P. So this is why it's called P wave structure. And when you see P wave, basically this is squeezing range where the market goes up and down in this descending and ascending triangle. So um, the market might be resisted by this descending, tri descending trend line and it might be also support, uh, resisted by this Kijun Sen and it might go down this way. And then it might go up or it might be also resisted one more time and it might go down too. So we want to know potentially which way the um, P wave is going to break the market. So to identify which way, simply you see the locations of the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen. In my chart card setting, um, the Kijun Sen is the green one and the um, Tenkan Sen is a blue line. So in this example, you see the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen simply so that we can expect the P wave breakout can occur downwards this way. It might break the Kumo downwards too. So that's the expectation in this case. But one thing is that because the Tenkan Sen is retracing backwards now, you see Tenkan Sen retracing backwards, so it might break the Kijun Sen upwards this way. So although we see the P wave structure like this, the market might be consolidating for a while, or it might break out upwards initially as a fake breakout and it might go down too. But as long as Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen, you can expect the market breaks downwards this way. So that was one of the examples for today. And let's move on to the next one, Euro AUD daily chart. So here is another example for the P wave structure where you see the highs get lower and the low get higher and higher like this. So this is another P wave structure. If you simply connect these dots, this becomes like P wave like this. And in this case, which way the market breaks potentially is that this is potentially moves down this way. And simply because in this case also, you see the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, and the Tenkan Sen is clearly below the Kijun Sen in this case. So I expect the market breaks downwards this way. And what's more, in this setting, um, if you see the Tenkan Sen angle, this is going down. The blue one is the Tenkan Sen, and you can see that the Tenkan Sen is going down. So in this structure, if I can uh, enable the candlesticks again, this is where Tenkan Sen gets lower. So that's why I expect the market breaks the P wave downwards this way. So. 
P wave basically is where you see the high gets lower and the lows get higher. And that's a P wave structure. And how you can potentially capture the breakout direction is that simply by looking at the Tenkan's and the Kijun-sen locations. The P wave breakout happens towards the direction of the Tenkan-sen location to the Kijun-sen. In this case, the Tenkan-sen below the Kijun-sen, so it can break down. And also, Tenkan-sen is pointing downwards, and that's why it actually adds more probability for the market to break downwards this way. So, that was a quick lecture for the P wave structure and the potential breakout capture. So, if you liked today's live, sorry, not the live stream, <laughs> today's a video already, please press a good button and make sure to click subscribe and bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and build videos every day. And also, I run the Ichimoku community here. And if, you're, if you want to learn the essence, more depth of Ichimoku, then you can simply come to my website and click on services, click on this Ichimoku community. And then you can find the page like this where you can find all these information about the Ichimoku community. So, there are so many perks on this one. You get, you get two books that I wrote on this original book. Ichimoku Basic Master Book and Ichimoku Basic Theories Book. These are actually available when you join the Ichimoku community. And also, there is a membership only live streams and also members only Discord group, Q&A session and, and what's more. Uh, Ichimoku Zoom Cafe, we have um, Ichimoku Correct Displacement MT4, MT5 indicators available now. So, yeah, there are actually lots and lots of more perks that you can expect. This is only uh, 2,999 yen per month. I live in Japan, so I had to set the price with the yen, but this is roughly about uh, 25 or 26 USD per monthly subscription, which is quite reasonable to get all these perks that you can expect. So, yeah, if, once again, if you're curious about learning Ichimoku depths, then I think this community is the one for you. So please click on the join button or click, please uh, come to this website. The link is actually on the description below. So you can click on that one and you are always welcome to the Ichimoku community. So once again, thank you for joining today. So tomorrow I will talk about the stop loss and also break even strategy. So I hope to see you on tomorrow's video. And the next live stream is going to be on this coming Thursday. So I will see you on Thursday live stream as well. So I hope you have a great day today. Please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.